Hello, Dom from uh, Black Toad Studio here. We're doing a review on the Corn Demonkin Codex. Right, first off, um, myself, I am a Corn uh, player, so I've uh, got myself a World Eater Army. Been uh, rocking that since 7th uh, edition. I've been playing 40k since 2nd um, edition. Also, I got myself a, a small Corn Demon Army to ally with my World Eaters. So, right. So I'm uh, quite enthusiastic about this codex. So going through the codex. First off, greeted with this uh, lovely bit of artwork. Uh, fusion here between a Chaos Space Marine and a Demon. I personally haven't seen this before, so I believe it's a, a new bit of artwork. Which um, came to which both is uh, lovely. We added it to this codex. Here we've got the new Blood Thirster. Beautiful new model, beginning at some point. So, at the first part of this book, you kind of really treated with all this love and background stuff on corn. I mean, in the previous entries in the Chaos Space Marine Codex and the Demon Codex, you have got a fair bit of corn in there, but not as much as you'd, you'd hope for as a corn player. So, here, Games Workshop have uh, treated us all. Also here you've got the path to glory. So you've got a Chaos Space Marine, he's slowly going to be turned to possess, and then suddenly, bam, demon. That's what they all want, isn't it? Maybe not being a blood letter, that's not the best way. Um, so yeah, I mean, the, all the fluff is brilliant. And the artwork, I mean, this picture is just, just brilliant with the blood burst there in the background and the demons crawling everywhere. It's, it's brilliant. It's just what you want. It's what your picture is, you've got your demon swarm going over the enemy and hacking them to pieces. Yes, yeah, there's a lot of background stuff here. A bit here about the slaughter cult, um, which we'll get to in a moment. Uh, also, Games Workshop have um, kind of, um, I don't know if they've done it on purpose, probably, well I imagine they probably have done it on purpose, but they've taken out the World Eaters. There's a few, few points in here where it refers to the World Eaters. But overall, there's not too much in here. So they've kind of introduced a few more war bands in here. A bit of background stuff on them. How they operate. Um, a couple of little stories. So yeah, it's, it's quite nice. Also, with no world eaters really in here, of course, Khan of Betrayer doesn't feature. And a lot of players are like, well, well what is no Khan? What? Why have you not got Khan the Betrayer? Well, my opinion is I kept Khan in the Chaos Space Marine Codex because if you still wanted to run a, a Khan theme list without being completely dedicated to Khan, you can still have your Khan the Betrayer. And yeah, I think they needed to keep this Khan in there for Khan special characters, Khan uh, players. So yeah, no Khan, but you can ally with the Chaos Space Marines as Battle Brothers. So you can still have Khan as your ally. Couple of squads of berserkers, maybe. It's all good. Uh, here you got a timeline. So here you have once again a lot of new entries, um, which is quite nice just to read through. You can theme your army if you wanted to, reenact battles with um, your mates, and see how that goes. Also, you still got your old entries here. So you still got your your first war Armageddon, and your Black Crusades, etc. So it's, it's Enough in there for your new players and your old players. It's it's pretty good. So then going through, you've got your new end. Well, you've got your entries for each unit you've got here. So your lords, your demon princes, your blood firsters, and once again, a lot of this stuff is is new material. So even if it, you know you think you've read the entry before for Chaos Space Marines or Possessed, you'd be surprised if they've, they've kind of added a lot in there. So it's not just Games Workshop just copying and pasting across and a lot of this artwork you got your old stuff and your new stuff so yeah I think they've really done well here they haven't just copped out and kind of gone oh there we go we'll just this will this will make him happy this will do <clears throat> so yeah you got a lot of entries here you are missing a few entries on the Chaos Space Marine Codex uh, you're missing your Havocs, your Obliterators, your Mutilators, your Predators, your Vindicators uh, 
okay, it is, um, but you can't have all of that in here. And once again, Chaos Space Marines, they need something to keep them going. So, I think we've got quite a lot of good stuff. So I'm, I'm happy with this overall, and I'm sure a lot of other corn players would happily let Chaos Space Marine players keep some of the old units. Also, yep, yeah, Lord of Skulls, oh, oh, oh. come across. Here you've got your new paint schemes for your different warbands if you if you wanted so you can paint your blood letters in different ways. Some of them are quite nice. I mean if you're already a corn player, you, the chances are you've probably got your own paint scheme. Uh, possibly the World Eater paint scheme, which is a very straightforward one. Although you get a bit bored of painting red. Maybe that's just me. Um, here we are, some nice new... Um, Shots here, with of course the spanking new blood verse there. Look at them, beautiful. And here, so once you got the new war warband entries, so you got your berserkers of white helms. Um, some of them look quite cool. I personally still prefer your standard world eater paint scheme. Kind of a like a brass effect on those ones, which is quite nice. Yeah, got your heavy metal pictures here. And it goes into a lot of detail, especially like the um, Lord of Skulls. I don't think these are new images, but it's nice to have them because when you paint your Lord of Skulls, you're like, what, what colour is that? What, what have they done here? So, yeah, they've got a bit of detail there. Same here. So, it's all beautiful stuff. Uh, lots and lots of pretty pictures. Right here, you've got your um, blood host attachment. So it works a lot like the um, Necron uh, detachment name. Uh, it's gone out of my head, so I can't think of what it's called. But basically, you've got your your formations that link together to create a, a detachment. Some special rules. There's a lot of a lot of good stuff here. We'll go through some of the formations in a little bit, so you can have a, a brief run down and what they do. Um, unfortunately, the only thing that I'll be lacking here is, is some of the possessed. Uh, we'll get to possessed in a minute and you'll understand why I might need to uh, sort that out. Um, all right, so you've got your war gear list here. There's a couple of new entries. Most of it's pretty standard, really. You've got your axe of corn there. As far as I know, that's that's new for uh, Chaos Space Marines. We've got that. It's, Quite good. Um, same, 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 same. Ah, artifacts of slaughter. So you've got some nice new artifacts there. Um, which got a nice little twist on there, so you can make a bit more of a, a themed corn lord or a demon prince. But yeah, they're, they're very nice. We'll um, go through those as well. So here you've got your entries for your HQs. So you've got your Chaos Lord. Your Chaos Lord that you can do what you want, really. So you can. You can give them a jump pack, you can put them on a bike, you can put them in Terminator armor, you can give them an artifact, some description. Um, Stat-wise, he's the same. Um, Points-wise, I think he might be a bit more expensive. Um, I don't know off the top of my head if he's the same or a bit more expensive. Let's just have a look at the old codex. Do, do, do. Yes, Lord. Yeah, so he's 10 points more expensive. That might be just because he's got the Mark of Corn already. As seen there. He's also got the new special rules. Blood for the Blood God and Skulls for the Skull Throne. So those two special rules are pretty much along the lines of every time he kills someone, or is, if he is killed, um, you get a Blood Tithe point. Okay, and... Also, if he um, gets into a challenge and he kills someone or he gets killed, you get a blood type point. Um, and at the beginning of your next turn, you're able to spend those points to um, enhance your army in some way. So we'll go through that in a moment. Then you've got your demon prints here. Standard demon prints, once again, special rules. Pretty much every entry has the same rules along the lines of blood for the blood god and skull for the skull for him. There's a couple of entries that don't, but if I don't mention it, just imagine it has probably got those rules. So you got your Herald, 
you now only need one herald, you don't have to have four, which is quite nice. Um, there you go, blood brown, very pretty. Skull taker, so you have got a named character in this codex. Um, doesn't have the juggernaut upgrade anymore, but there's no juggernaut model, so uh, that you with the skull taker, so it's not a big loss really. Um, but yeah, you got a named character, so someone came across from the codexes. Uh, new bloodthirster. Um, so it's the same standard bloodthirster, and the cheaper one of the three. And then you've got your two other bloodthirsters, which are quite nice. So, this one, a bit more character hunting, bad boy. Fly around as well, can do a bit of damage in the air. And this one, you've got your big destroyer weapon in combat. Very nice. I want to probably field one of those myself. Um, especially for Apocalypse games, it'd be pretty awesome. Um, Alright, so you get your troop entries. So you've got your Chaos Cultists and your Chaos Space Marines. Once again, you've got your standard rules there for Blood for Blood God, Skulls for Skull Form, which is quite handy for cultists really, considering they're big and running forwards and getting killed by a strong wind. Um, the squad size here is 8. It's the minimum size, so that's pretty good that they've kind of got still kept the theme. And I'm uh, quite happy about that. Also, the Chaos Space Marines, same again, 8. Except for, with this codex, you haven't got Veteran of the Long War anymore. Um, not necessarily a, a big loss, but still, it would have been nice to keep it. Maybe a bit overpowered if they still had Veteran of the Long War. Uh, you've got your Berserkers. So you've got 8 Berserkers. Um, you've got your 8 Blood Letters. You can still upgrade the squads, so you can uh, add another 12 to your Berserker squad. And number 12 to your Demon squad. Possessed. Start with squads of 5. And I think from now on, going through the codex, the units will start to lower in size a bit. Mainly because they're quite point heavy after this. Uh, so your Possessed are exactly the same. Um, as they were in previous codexes. Um, no upgrades as such. You can have more to the unit. Uh, you can have given the icon. Put them in the Rhino if you want. I personally haven't fielded possessed, but for the um, detachment, I will need a squad. So, yeah, I'm going to have to go out and buy some myself. Oh, or parts. Chaos Terminators. Same again. Um, off the bat, three of them for 104 points. Um, yeah, so you've got, you've got your, your rules down here. So you've got Michael Corn, uh, Skulls for uh, Skull Throne and Blood for the Blood God. So they use special rules there. So they're standard. You get your Blood Crushers. Standard with the same rules again. Spawn. So your Spawn is still there. Quite nice again. You know, Blood for the Blood God. You can send them out. They get killed. They get killed and you get a point for it. So it's not too bad. Um, your Rhino. No, the Rhino's the same. Uh, the main thing with the Rhino here though is uh, under special rules, you've got blood for the blood god. So, for a vehicle, if your vehicle kills someone, or your vehicle gets killed, you still get a uh, blood point for it, which is quite nice. It's um, quite good they've got that. Turning over then, we've got Chaos Bikes. Big fan of Chaos Bikes. Um, I, I, I personally feel two squads of eight, so I'll be using them in future. Same rules again. Come in squads of three, you can upgrade more. Uh, you got flesh hounds there, raptors, warp talons, very nice units. Your hell drake here, so your hell drake, it, it's beautiful. So also for special rules for the hell drake, you've got demon of corn there, which is uh, a new entry. Previously had demon rule, um, but now with um, uh, demon of corn, you've got your um, heat salonish and increased, you know, your furious charge and all that. Not really essential for a Hell Drake, but as you see with the other units, um, you will be getting some nice upgrades there. Um, Lamb Raider. Um, once again, you've got Blood for the Blood God. You can upgrade it. It's, it's pretty handy, especially as we all know, Corn aren't that brilliant with shooting. They excel in combat. It's quite nice to be able to deliver a nice squad into combat and uh, win the game from there.
Right, so you got your Forge Fiend and your Mauler Fiend. Um, so you, you still retain your Demon Forge, which is quite handy. Especially for the Forge Fiend. Um, same rules again. Demon of Corn. So you will get um, Furious Charge and Hatred Against the Slanish. It's It's quite handy. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy that they've actually got that. So you can theme them a bit better. Same with Forge Fiend, uh, Mauler Fiend. Same rules, same rules there. Very nice. Defiler, um, I'm a big fan of Defilers. A lot of people uh, criticise them, but yeah, I really like them. And once again, same rules here. So it's a very nice, very nice heavy choice here. Also, with the new um, corn detachment, you can have up to eight heavy choices. I mean, that's ridiculous. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Um, right, so Hellbrute. I'm starting to get a feeling that Games Workshop don't like the Hellbrute. Maybe, maybe just me. If, I mean, if you disagree about Games Workshop uh, letting down the Hellbrute every time, let me know. But special rules. Blah, 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 God. You haven't got the mark of corn. It's not a demon of corn. What's going on? What's going on, Games Workshop? Why don't you like me? Why don't you like me? What's going on? Sad times. Skull cannon. Um, don't have one. I can I can see the benefits of a skull cannon. I'm not a big fan of the model, to be honest. But um, yeah, it'd be quite nice to keep striking in and shooting things in the back. And Lord of Skulls. So it's all good. Lord of Skulls is brilliant. Demon of Corn. They will. Get your um, Furious Charge with your D weapon. <sighs> Hate Chicken still unish, so that's good. But once again, for me, it's more um, about the fluff with Demon of Corn. It's nice to have it. Uh, yep. And then we've got the. Uh, start to get the formations. So down here, this is what you need in your formation. Very handy. It's all good. Um, you got your special rules here. So you, you got chosen a corn, reroll warlord trait. Um, that's not too bad. Blood sacrifice. So if your cultists fail a morale check, imagine chaos cultists failing a morale check, you can choose to remove them uh, as casualties. So you can get your blood dive point from there. And um, boon of chaos. So um, each time you expend one or more blood dive points. Choose the second result from the blood dive table uh, that has a lower value than the first. The second result applies to all units in the formation. These effects are in addition to the first result um, you choose on the blood dive. Um, so it has to be less than four. So we'll go through that soon, but you can imagine if people already read through this codex, if they didn't have that limit, it might be open to abuse. But um, yeah, no, it's, it's nice. No special rule there. Uh, then you've got your, your, uh, your onslaught there, your brazen onslaught. Once again, there's your formation here. And there we go, so we we'll focus on that. Okay, so at the start of each fight's uh, sub phase, you check to see if any unit from this formation are involved in combat that contains more enemy models than friendly models. Um, blah blah blah. If a unit from this formation is outnumbered, all models in that unit um, add one to attack. So it's, like it's a little bit like a rampage there, a muted down rampage. Um, I can keep going here. Why not? We're on a roll. So you got a formation here with warp talons, raptors, and heldrakes. There you go. There. So fury of corn, uh, plus, uh, plus one to the strength of the hammer of wrath or vector strike attacks. So. I mean, your, your Heldrake's already got a strength 7 um, vector strike, so strength 8's pretty good. I mean, that's going to be taking out a few things a lot easier than a strength 7, so yeah, that's, that's pretty good. I'm not sure how good the Hammer of Wrath, strength 5 Hammer of Wrath, is going to be that incredible, but never mind. Gore Pack. Now, this is one I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to be running myself. Um, so, formation is two squads of bikers and um, a, uh, a squad of. Flesh hounds. Of course, you can up that to, to more. Got move through cover, preferred enemy psyker. So, if you're going against grey knights, that would be awesome. 
and if you have rules there, run to the ground. So, flesh hound unit in this formation have the Hammer of Wrath special rule. Chaos Space Moon Bikers have Shred. Um, yeah, so what sort of Shred win uh, resolving a Hammer of Wrath? So, that's pretty nice. Um, and again, we've got a nice demon one here. Yeah, just demons. It's, it's, it's good. Yeah, we like demons. So, counter attack. Special rule. Very nice. Um, chosen of corn. So, once again, you're re rolling your um, wall of traits. Lord of the Blood Host. Uh, so, if the formation HQ is in deep strong reserve, you can choose to re roll reserve rolls uh, for that unit. Other units from this formation arriving from Deep Strike Reserve do not scatter as long as the first model of this place is within six inches of the formation's HQ. So you can imagine that being a big blob of demons popping down behind and causing a serious amount of pain. Um, uh, do, do, do. Uh, Blood Host uh, unleashed. So minus two leadership for fear tests. I mean, that is pretty horrible. If you're going against Tau. Guard, you're gonna be scaring the bejesus out of them. So let's get a bit more artwork here. The appendix there. So here go through the rules of Blood of the Blood God, which I've kind of gone over briefly with you. Um, it's pretty good. Demon of Corn and Mark of Corn. So they're very similar, if not exactly the same, to your, your previous entries in the Chaos Space Marine Codex and the Demon Codex. Skulls of the Skull Throne. I've uh, gone through that. Uh, levels of Alliance. So you still got your Chaos um, Space Marines there and Chaos Demons as your Battle Brothers. So there's some nice benefits there. I'll let you kind of go through your Codexes and go, oh, well, that's quite good. That can affect that or these can affect them. And I'm sure you're going to come up with some nasty combinations. Um, your Warlord traits here, they're pretty good. There's a couple of nice ones there. Um, depends on the game you play, really. Um, if you're doing your, um, your standard Turn of War ones, you'd probably want to stick with these. They're quite nice. Uh, and here we are, the Blood Type Table. So this is what it's all about in the new um, Corn Codex. So, as I said, every time you kill a unit, you gain one point. And at the beginning of your movement phase, you can uh, spend that point. So if you spend one, you can give your un your army animantium will at the beginning of the next turn. Pretty good for one point. That's, that's handy. All corn players, especially myself, have been cursing why we didn't have anything before. Um, two, um, you can gain uh, furious charge and rage. Um, pretty good. So. Your Chaos Space Marines will be gaining uh, Furious Charge, your Demons will be gaining Rage, so you, they benefit each other. Um, three points, um, you get to feel no pain. Very handy, very handy, especially when you're charging those gun lines, you need someone to, to, to survive, that's what you want. Four, um, plus one attack, characteristic, until the end of um, your next turn, very good as well. Especially when you start charging into combat, when you're in finally in combat, you want to be hacking them apart quickly. Um, five, see, so five is pretty good. You can summon eight blood letters or five hounds uh, within 12 inches of a friendly unit with blood for the blood god special rule. Awesome, awesome. When you're starting to get in combat and you're really doing some damage, your challenges are going out, your characters are dying, your rhinos getting popped, you're killing drop pods. Let's go for the easy stuff. And then start bringing the horrible stuff onto the battlefield. So suddenly, like, gameplay-wise, you you would normally ignore certain things. Like you'd ignore that orc truck, or you would ignore that drop pod. If you kill that, you can start to add up little points. Think of it as kill points again. It's brilliant. Uh, right, so six. If you're spending six points, so you, I mean, you've had a pretty good turn if you, you've got six. Or you have a really bad turn if you've got six points to, to use at the start of your phase. Um, you can get three blood crushes or a skull cannon. Um, I've only started using Blood Crushers, um, and I personally quite like them at the moment. Especially, I mean, if you're able to give your Blood Crushers something like Feel No Pain, brilliant. Um, right, so seven points. 
Um, you are, you, you've got like a you do a leadership test for a character. Um, if you fail, it's spawn time. You, your lovely um, your chaos lord is um, or your sergeant or your so your champion or your cultist leader is turned into a spawn. If you pass, um, you've got a demon prince with uh, warp forged armor and demonic flight. If you've actually got it, which is quite nice. Also, I mean, it states here, uh, where is it? Uh, and demonic flight, if the model being used um, to represent it has wings, which is pretty good at Games Workshop. I mean, it's a, it's like a free upgrade there. Also, um, you've got like your, your blood letters there. And if you read down here, it states that if you've got a banner, if you've got a musician, etc., you can use them without spending additional points, which is, um, yeah, pretty amazing. Um, it's nice, as well than just standard, like you would from your Demon Codex. Uh, An eight, the um, everyone's favourite number. I don't know at what point you'd have eight points, unless you've been saving them up all game. Um, you can get to... Um, uh, get a bloodthirster, which is uh, pretty awesome. <laughs> Having a bloodthirster suddenly appear in the enemy ranks, hopefully, and uh, cause some serious pain. So, great table. Um, I can see the first probably four entries being used a lot. If you're getting quite lucky, it'd be quite nice to summon down a squad to, to help out. Um, but yeah, no, um, it's, it's pretty good. And there we go. So, you get the, your, your tools of butchery. <laughs> uh, you got all your good stuff here, so you got all your entries. Uh, I won't go through them all because hopefully this review's kind of inspired you a little bit to go out and buy yourself a nice new Chaos Codex um, of Demonkin. So you got a nice lot of stuff there. So it's all mixed in with your Chaos Space Marines and your um, demons. And your artifacts of slaughter. Um, yeah, they're pretty good. I've gone through them a couple of times and kind of gone, oh, what will I take? Um, I personally want to try and use them all. They're all pretty nice. So you got your, your gore drinker there. It's plus one uh, strength. AP2. Um, Elise. So you get your additional combat bonus. Blood feast. Uh, but you're unwieldy. Blood feast. Um, keep count of um, unsaved wounds. And you get certain bonuses there. Bloodforged Armour, 3 plus save, uh, Eternal Warrior, feel no pain. That's pretty good. Um, uh, Brazen Rune, that's also quite good uh, if you're fighting Grey Knights, etc, etc. At the back here you've got your tactical objectives, um, and surprise surprise it's all about killing. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's pretty fun. So, as a cool World Eater player, I'm, I'm over the moon with this codex. It's absolutely beautiful, and I really recommend it to anyone. And I'm kind of hoping for you, uh, Zench players, or Selenesh, or Noble players, you're going to be getting something similar. Um, but hopefully not as good as this. Because Corn is the, uh, the best god. Fact. Alright, well, um, you know, if you like this video, Please like it and uh, subscribe and we'll be bringing some more videos shortly. We'll have some battle reviews coming up, some uh, terrain videos coming up and uh, plenty more. Stay tuned.